Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As you might be aware that HL is participating in the ongoing South African Aerospace and Defense Expo of 2022. A lot of interesting information is coming out of the infographics which was displayed by HL over there. We have already made a video on Tejas and its air to air missiles. There is one more video we'll be making talking about the standoff weapon delivery capabilities of Tejas. Today, we'll talk about another stunning infographics that was released for HAL's LCH or Light Combat Helicopter. Now, to begin with, I want to talk about the weapon delivery capabilities of LCH, which has always been my favorite topic to talk about. LCH has a weapon payload of nearly 920 kgs. It can be armed with a variety of weapons depending upon the operational role. These weapons include air to air missiles, 70mm rockets, 20mm turret gun, anti tank guided missiles, pre fragmentation bombs, and high speed low drag bombs and fuel tanks. So, as you have noticed, it has four hard points two on the either side where the weapons can be loaded in almost all permutation and combinations. For example, it can carry 16 anti-tank guided missiles in a pure anti-tank role, 4 on each hard point. It can also carry 8 anti-tank guided missiles on 2 of its hard point and 4 air to air missiles or 2 70mm rocket pods with each pod having capability of 12 70mm rockets on its remaining 2 hard points. It can also carry 2 250kg bombs which could be either a peak fragmentation bombs or a high speed low drag bomb which can be carried by LCH along with 4 air to air missile on the either side of the two pods. The rocket pods integrated with LCH is FZ275 LGR or laser guided weapon system by Thales. The system supports both guided and unguided rockets. LCH uses Mistral air to air missile provided by MBDA. Having a range of 7 km, the missile uses infrared homing as a guidance system which makes the missile deadly and resistant to the countermeasures. These two weapons are already integrated with LCH. Now talking about ATGM or anti-tank guided missiles which is much debated when we talk about LCH, its integration is also shown in the infographics. However, it is difficult to ascertain just with this that ATGM has already been integrated as we have not seen any trials for the same. The plan is to integrate indigenously developed Helena anti-tank guided missiles. Helena is helicopter launched NAG missile also known as Dhruvastra. It is a third generation fire and forget missile with all weather, day and night and top attack capabilities. It is capable of defeating battle tanks with conventional armor as well as explosive reactive armor. In top attack mode, the missile is required to climb sharply after the launch and travel at a certain altitude then plunge on the top of the target. In direct hit mode, the missile travels at a lower altitude, directly striking the tanks. The missile is guided by an imaging infrared seeker operating in lock-on before launch mode. It has a maximum range of 7 km. The role of electronic warfare, be it attack or countermeasures, have become increasingly important in the present era. LCH is being continuously upgraded with new technologies, improved electronics warfare suite, directional infrared countermeasures, air to ground missiles, anti-tank guided missiles, data link, anti-radiation missiles, ARM, bombs, NBC protection and wire cutters. LCH comes up with a glass cockpit, integrated avionics and display system which uses an array of multi-functional displays along with target acquisition and designation system. The helmet mounted sight HMS is a prominent feature of TADS which is used for targeting and triggering the rotor craft's armament. LCH is protected by an extensive electronic warfare suite provided by SAB Group. This suite comprises of various defensive elements including a radar warning receiver, a laser warning receiver and a missile approach warning system. LCH comes up with a data link for network centric operation facilitating transfer of mission data to other airborne platforms and ground stations. The helicopter is fitted with indigenous avionics, radio communication system, radio altimeter and identification friend or foe IFF systems. The onboard sensor suite consists of Elbit Compass produced locally by Bharat Electronics Limited. It consists of a CCD camera, a forward looking infrared imaging sensor, a laser rangefinder and a laser designator to facilitate target acquisition under all weather conditions including day and night conditions. 
The LCH features a narrow fuselage and tandem seating for pilot and co-pilot. The machine is designed for low detection, reduced visible, oral, radar and infrared signatures and is fitted with crash-worthy landing gear for better survivability. LCH possesses a relatively narrow fuselage and is equipped with stealth profiling armor protection and is equipped to conduct day and night combat operations. According to reports, the protective measures include in rotatory craft include a distal camouflage and infrared suppressor fitted to the engine exhaust and an exterior covered by canted flat panels to minimize its radar cross section. It is furnished with an integrated dynamic system including a hingeless main rotor and bearingless tail rotor which works in conjunction with the anti-resonance isolation system to dampen the vibration. LCH is probably the most agile design in the world because of its rotor. Now talking about its performance, the LCH is powered by two Shakti engines and helicopter has a maximum takeoff weight of 5800 kgs. With a maximum speed of 268 km per hour, it has a range of nearly 750 km and operational ceiling of 6.5 km and hovering ceiling of 4 km. LCH is one of the best attack helicopters in its category and a formidable weapon in the mountain warfare with exceptional high altitude performance and a stealth characteristic. The helicopter can be used in a variety of missions which includes combat, search and rescue, destruction of enemy air defense, counter-insurgency operations in jungle and urban environment in support to ground forces, against low-moving aircraft and remotely piloted aircrafts, high altitude bunker busting operations. The LCH is well suited for anti-tank role where it can fly low and fast to attack the enemy armor columns and destroy them. As per HL, it is also suitable for a scout role where it can fly ahead of advanced columns of army and detect enemy presence. The induction of LCH into Indian Armed Forces is going to greatly improve their capability and open a new dimension of warfare for them and at the same time it's going to be a challenging environment for our adversaries. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.